first, let's look back. When we joined you last Monday night, 64 teams in each class were about to start their playoff run, each in search of that six-game winning streak that would bring them a state championship. Now we are down to the final 16 in each of the five classes, and we'll start in Class AA in Section 4 AA, where three of the last eight state championships have come out of teams that have won this section. The number one seed, Coon Rapids. For the first time in school history, the cards were seeded number one, and they did battle with Park Center in the semifinals. Early on, after the defense pinned the Pirates deep, Jed Stadola on the punt return goes 24 yards to the Pirates' 16-yard line. Four plays later, it's Adam Denicky. You know him from defense. Here he bowls in from the one. Cardinals miss the conversion and lead 6-0. Second quarter, still 6-0. Jim Carpey, who has been coming on during the second half, has his pass intercepted by Shane Olin. And the Pirates are in business, but two plays later, Joe Labonte trying to make something happen. He scrambles. He's looking for Brian Catlack. He delivers it right on the money, but Catlack can't hang on, and Justin Tome comes up with the interception for the Cardinals. On the very first play, the Cardinals give it back. Carpy fumbles the handoff. Seth Keske scoops it up and goes 26 yards for the touchdown. 7-6 Park Center. Cardinals on the move late first half. Carpy over the middle looking for Matt Eichton who makes the catch. 18 yards on this play. On a third and 28, Carpy back to the air. And a fine catch by Brad Crago after the ball was tipped 23 yards. Fourth and five, Carpy to Brock Welker. 14 yards and a first down at the Pirate 12. And then it's Carpy to Welker again, this time for the touchdown. Cardinals go into the locker room in front, 12-7. Third quarter, Carpy back to the air again, dumps it off for Eichton. And Eichton turns in a big play. 49 yards for the touchdown. Cardinals go in front, 18-7. And they're going crazy as they sense the Cardinals may be on their way to their first section final in four years. If there was any doubt, just ask Drew Denneke. Denneke laid big hit after big hit in this one, and the Cardinals go on to win it. The final, Coon Rapids 26, Park Center 13, Troy Peacock 90 yards in the game. Remember, the Pirates had defeated the Cardinals back early in the season, so Coon Rapids gains revenge. Carpy threw for 132 and a couple of scores. Both Pirate touchdowns came by way of the defense. In the other, Section 4 AA semifinal, the Tornadoes and the Bengals, the matchup many expected to see in the final. These teams met last year for the Section 4 AA championship, and the Tornadoes try to make it two wins in a row over the Bengals. They beat them by two at Blaine earlier in the season. Early on, Josh Savageau around the right end, 12 yards to the Anoka one-yard line, and Marvin Spencer bangs it in from there, 7-0 Bengals. Next possession, Dan Reeder. The little-known part of this Bengal backfield. And Reeder goes 35 yards to the Anoka 20-yard line. Same drive. It's Josh Savageau. Savageau will sweep around the left side on the quick pitch. 10 yards for the touchdown. Bengals lead 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing at the half. And the Bengals come out. First play of the third quarter. A little trickery. Savageau wants to throw, but he's hit and fumbles. Eric Wirtz recovers for Anoka. They take over deep in Bengal territory. And David Mickinen cashes in. He goes over from one yard out, 14 to seven Blaine. Ensuing kickoff. Savageau, who had just fumbled to give Anoka the chance, makes a big play. One man to beat, it's halfback Gabe Southard. And Southard is able to trip him up at the Anoka 35, a 58 yard run back. Three plays later, Spencer to the outside, spins his way for 13 yards down to the Anoka 11-yard line. After Spencer took it to the six, you might be looking for the fullback. Savageau bounces outside for the touchdown, 21-7 Blaine. Back come the Tornadoes. Gabe Southern, who made the touchdown-saving tackle, here squirts through a small hole and goes 69 yards for the touchdown. Anoka right back in the game, it's 21-14. Now remember, it was Southern who kicked to Savageau. Southern needs a breath, so Corey Padani comes on to do the kicking. And once again, it's Savageau to the outside. 
same result on the seam. Can Panani make the stop as Southern did? No. Savageo beats him. He's caught from behind after a 59-yard run back to the Anoka 30. And then on third down, on the reverse, it's Savageo, 25 yards for the touchdown, and Blaine leads 28 to 14. Fourth quarter, still 28-14. Jesse Albright looks for Barraket Kiros, who makes the catch. The Bengals go up 35-14. They go on to win it by a final of 41 to 20. They avenge the earlier season loss to the Tornadoes for the second year in a row. And the Bengals advance now into the Section 4 AA Championship. Mickinen was held to 125 yards through the air as the Bengals rolled up big yardage offensively. 95 yards for Spencer, 94 for Savageau, 64 for Reeder as that trio, a big part of a Bengal rushing attack that racked up 266 yards. They held the Tornadoes to just nine first downs in the game. So here's a look at the Section 4 AA Tournament. It is down to the Bengals and the Cardinals. These teams met earlier in the season, a matchup that was won by Coon Rapids. And now the Cardinals will be trying to do something that they have never done. That's beat Blaine twice in the same season. Take a look at the matchup between the Bengals and the Cardinals. Blaine had won 13 consecutive games against Coon Rapids before Coon Rapids won the earlier game this season. Bengals have beaten them in all four postseason meetings. And in fact, take a look at what's happened in the Section 4 AA Final. Bengals have been there six times. Cardinals have been there only once. That a loss to Blaine, 29-26 a couple of years back. The teams have met in the playoffs four times in the last five seasons. But that last line key, Cardinals have never beaten Blaine twice 